Welcome guys to another episode of my Fulham career mood series. This is another episode of this awesome series. We're back with the Fulham team and we're still top of the table at the end of last episode despite that draw against Charlton at home which was a massive disappointment. But this, in this episode we've got two games in the league to sort that out. One against Brighton and the other against Nottingham Forest. I'm hoping for two wins in this episode but let's get into some player training right now. So here we go, the player training. I'm going to be training Richards and Garbutt. I'm hoping that one of them will actually go up and yes, Richards absolutely bangs out with three A's in all three of his exercises and Garbutt getting two D's which is not great but Richards has gone up from a 69 to a 70 overall. That is fantastic news and I'm going to be looking to invest in a new youth scout to try and bolster our youth academy and maybe bring in some talented youth into our team and help us for the future because you know we don't necessarily need to be buying players off the market all the time we can actually build up some young talent and maybe bring them into the squad for future games so i'm going to be bringing in this guy from finland because he's not too bad not too good he's within our budget and i think that'll be a really good investment and also i'm going to be setting up the scouting network in a country um we'll put it in england you know bring some local youth to our youth academy and make sure that we get the best out of them so i'm going to be looking for a defensive minded player i would say i'm going to put it to six months we're looking for maybe a defender to help us out in the near future and we're going to be going through the last bit of the transfer window we haven't got really any business to be doing nothing coming through i think it's too late for anyone to put in a bid and actually get it through one more hour left and i think we're done yep that's it completely done really su successful transfer window and our first game is against brighton away from home and in the team today we have embolo up top kranlich is on the left Sibaios is behind Mbola, Carney is on the right, the two CDMs, Christensen and Kimrich, who are behind the front three and one, and Reem, Hutchinson, Stearman, Richards make up the back four, and Lonigan is in goal. Kranlich, what are you going to do here? Come on, play it back. Nice, Reem on the edge of the box. Nice, cuts inside, lovely. Come on, that must be a foul. It is! It's a penalty to us! What a lovely bit of running by Reem, gets into the box and then the defender barges him down and that's a definite penalty in Bolo to take this. Okay, good power. Lovely penalty by Mbolo, 1-0 to Fulham in the first few minutes of the game. Let's try and keep this lead and try and get all three points, unlike against Charlton. Christian, Kimrich, plays into Ceballos, Ceballos, nice turn, plays into Kranlich. What can you do from here, Kranlich? Crosses it in. Ceballos. Touch. Hits it. Gets a block. Imbolo. Oh, he's hit the bar. Imbolo. Ceballos. No one's stopping him. Ceballos. He's got past the defender again. Ceballos. Gets away from the defender. He's been taken down. Ah, it's a second penalty. Let's see if we can score from this one. I'm probably going to go the same way again. And I do. And, uh, well, that's 2-0. Two, two penalties. Two goals from Mbolo, and that's 2 0 to Fulham. Okay. No. Oh, it's a little chance for them, actually. Dorb it. Oh, good save by Lonegan. Nice ball by Mbolo. Reem's on this now. Play inside. Kranlich on the ball. Gets past the defender. Kranlich! Sabios! Yes, Sabios! With the poacher's goal. What a lovely bit of play by Reem. Cutting back inside, coming out, and then hitting it into Kranlich who got away from the defender somehow and then hit the shot and it rebounded off the goalkeeper. Look at this, good shot. Keeper couldn't do much with it and Ceballos was only too happy to finish it. Richards, Kimrich, it's Pringle. Pringle, away from the defender, Pringle! Oh, he's hit the side netting. I thought he was gonna score from that. Oh dear, that was a bad clearance and they've got the ball here. Reem, it was a good tackle initially and it's been blocked. And that was a big chance for Brighton. Corner to Brighton. What can they do from here? Crossed in. Oh, he's hit the side netting. He almost scored a very similar goal like Jamie Vardy in the Capital One Cup, but he couldn't do it. Crowledge. Plays into Pringle. Pringle's got away from the defender. 
Pringle! Oh, it's a foot save by the goalkeeper, and somehow Pringle hasn't scored from either of his two chances. Corner to us. Yeah, we're going to do this. Play it outside the box. Woodrow. What can you do from this, Woodrow? Hits it! Oh, what a goal! By Woodrow, of all people, the substitute who has a 64 rating, has hit an absolute wonder goal. What a goal, look at this. Passed outside, Woodrow takes a touch, and bang, top corner. No way that the keeper's gonna say that. Look at that, the swerve on it, into the top corner. Bang, 4-0. Good defending by them, can we get it back? Pringle, it's good hustling, but that is the end of the game, 4-0 away from home against Brighton. What a fantastic performance. The clean sheet was great, but the four goals were amazing, and Woodrow's goal was the absolute icing on the cake. And in terms of the stats, Brighton had three shots, one of those being on target in 54% possession. We, on the other hand, had 10 shots, eight of those on target, and 46 possession. And in terms of the player ratings, Pringle actually surprisingly got a 5.5 rating, which is not great. Although, to be fair, he didn't actually finish off his chances when he got them. Lonegan with an 8.0 rating, really well deserved. He, Christensen got a 7.8 rating coming into the side, not having played many games, but putting in a real shift. Overall, a really good performance by basically everyone apart from Pringle. And in our next game, we're playing Nottingham Forest at home. Now before this episode, they were actually third in the table, so we need to be on our game to actually beat these guys because they are very dangerous. And in the starting 11 today, we have Dembele up top, Kranlich is on the left, Ceballos in the middle, Carney on the right. Tonningcliff is at CDM with Kimrich, Richards, Hutchinson, Stearman and Foza make up the back four and Lonegan in goal. Dembele, Tonningcliff, what can you do from this? Cuts back out. Dembele on the ball! Dembele! Oh, he's hit! He's missed, he's missed the goal completely! How did you not score from that Dembele? Ceballos on the ball now. Can you make a run Dembele? Yes, you can. Sebastian finds him. Dembele! Oh, he scored this time. This time, he puts it into the back of the net. That's 1-0 to us. Dangerous. Camera can get there. Oh, my goodness. He's done me there. Hits it, and it's straight at loan again. Free kick to us. Can Carney do anything from this? Try and get it in the top corner of the goal. Carney. Oh, it's a disappointing effort in the end. Sebastian on the ball. Plays it into Kimrich. Open space on the right, and Carney's got it now. Can Carney cross in a beauty? Kimrick! Oh, he hits the bar! Oh, unlucky for him! Oh, what a ball by Carney! And Kimrick couldn't apply the finishing touch. Kimrick. Tunnicliffe now. Going to the box now. Tunnicliffe plays it into Kralich. Hits it! Oh, it's just gone past the post. Really good play by us again. It's bad play. Oh, what bad defending. And they're through here. Cross it in. What? No, what are you doing? Get it! No way! No way have they scored! Look at this. I mean, yeah, the cross comes in, but why are you sliding there? And then just no one reacted. Dear me. Deary me. What is the defending... What is this? Good save by Lonegan, but absolutely awful defending at the moment. Carney, can you please score from this? Just to get us the three points, please. Get it over the wall. Nice! Oh, it's better than the last effort, but still, just not good enough. Kralich, come on, dying embers of the game. Carney, cuts inside. Carney, surely you'll score and it's been blocked. And somehow Nottingham Forest get away with it. Come on, last ditch chance here, Woodrow. Kimrich, play into Kralich, gets away from the defender. Kimrich, oh my goodness, what a save by the goalkeeper. And that is the end of the game with the last kick of the match. Kralich almost won it for us, but unfortunately we've drawn another game at home against this time Nottingham Forest. And in terms of the stats, we had 8 shots, 3 of those on target and 59% possession. And Nottingham Forest had 5 shots, 2 of those on target and 41% possession. So overall, we were the better team, but yet again, we drew our match. And in terms of the player rating, Kimrich got a 7.9 rating. He was an absolute rock in the midfield, picking up all those loose balls, 
that we seem to be misplacing and just in general Nottingham Forest coming forward. Tollingcliffe, his partner in crime, having a very similarly good performance in that mid midfield with a 7.7 .7 rating. Hutchinson and Stearman having an awful game together, both of them on 5.9 and 5.8 ratings respectively. And at the end of the episode, the league table looks like this. We're in second place now. We've dropped a place in the league table. Burnley have gone and won both of their games in this episode, so they are two points ahead of us. But still, we have the most goals in the league, and we are still joint first with the least goals conceded in the championship. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of the Fulham Career Mood series. I've been Harry Green. I'll see you guys next time. Adios. Oh, 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 oh,